Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today we're going to take a look at Riptide GP. It is a racing game on the Zoom that takes advantage of the NVIDIA Tegra 2 graphics and it's a very, very beautiful game. So let's open it up. It's a game by Vector Unit and it uses the accelerometer. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I don't have this quite right. I am going to have to hold it in my hands. It might be a little unsteady and I'll try to fit everything in the uh, camera at the same time. But basically, to turn, you're, you're driving like a uh, ski doo To turn it, you're going to have to move your hands to the left or to the right and so forth. Um, so I will... Let's go in. It's uh, connected to a fan, but let's just back out. And uh, here's the basic menu. We have the hop lap which is basically a timing you as you go around each lap. Um, there's championship mode, which you gain points for placing first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And it, out of um, a certain set of races, whoever gets the highest points wins. And then there's race, which is just individual races. You get a gold, silver, bronze type for first place, second place, and third. Um, you can connect to your open faint. Um, there's the community. So if you wanted to go to their web page, Facebook, or find out their new games, feel go ahead to do so. And then of course we can go to the options and you can see how to play. And it talks about the basic controls, boosting, stunts, and stunt types. So it's uh, everything's right there to explain everything for you. I'm going to go over very basics, show you in an action. Um, and I just want to point one thing out because it is something I didn't realize until much later. Um, first, controls. You can control the sensitivity accelerometer if you wish. Um, and you actually can control whether you want to auto accelerate or not. For the simplicity of this video, I'm having auto accelerate checked on. Um, I apologize also if this seems a little bit washed out from the camera, it seems like it is, but it gets a little better once we get back into the game. And another thing to note, graphics. Put it all the way up. Your zoom can handle it. And it is a little bit noticeable about how much of an improvement it is. Alright, so let's uh, go to something simple. We'll go to hot lap. We'll do, it's, you can see that in all three of these modes, whether it's the championship, the racing, or the hot lap, are divided into these three divisions that are divided by difficulty. So we'll go to easy, we'll just try out the first one, and you have a couple different crafts to choose from. As you progress through the game, you unlock more crafts, but there's only like three or four that you can unlock, so it's not, at least from what I can see on the screen, there might be hidden ones. So, now I haven't played this game in totality, so I can't um, give you a full general scope, but I can show you the basics and see how it looks, and uh, hopefully you can determine from this whether it's worth your investment or not. So as you can see, the game is really, really beautiful. And here we go, auto accelerating. You can see I can turn left or right. For tight turns, you can press on the screen with your left hand, any pretty much anywhere on the left, with your uh, and uh, I usually use my thumb, and that's the brake. So here's a tight turn. I'm gonna slow down on the brake a little as I take it. Another tight turn. Here we're coming up to some waves. I use the boost by clicking on it, and I can do some tricks by flicking my fingers together in some manner. So you can see. There's also some stunts. By doing stunts, you actually gain more boost, which is that bar to the right. So you can see I fully depleted it. And see, there's some jumps here to help you do tricks. You just change the way that you do your trigger. Your boost increase, you can go boosting again. And um, it's a nice way to uh, take a risk, do a trick. If you successfully initiate it, you're rewarded by doing more boosts. This helps increase your speed during your time trials, but also in races, getting ahead of players. So let's exit out of this one. And let's show you the race mode.
So we'll go to championship. I already have a championship in progress, so you can come back. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. As you can see, I'm right ahead with the, um, and I'm going to touch this level to continue. You'll see you'll start off with other players on the map. Here I go, zooming ahead. There's a whole bunch of levels. You can see if you mis-execute, you crash. So that's the risk in doing a trick when you don't, when you actually can't fully execute it. You crash and you lose some time based on that. Here we are. You can see there's a wide uh, array of different levels. Again, messed up. I'm just doing this to show you. So if you're really into the racing type games, this is definitely something for you. Because it is a lot of fun, it's very beautiful, and it really utilizes the zoom quite a bit. Oh. And it's just fun. It's good to do in one or two sittings, you know. It doesn't take that much time. It's about practically, you know, five minutes per race. So you can just fit a quick race in here and there and, you know, progress at your own speed. Or you can just, you know, play it non-stop. It's completely up to you. As you can see, I am still a noob. All sorts of tricks, all sorts of ways to increase your boost and to get ahead. And crash. Alright. And um, just to kind of overview, we'll go into the race mode, select easy. Um, it's a whole bunch of tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, and that's just the easy, then there's the normal and the hard. So there's a whole lot to do here. Um, so if you're, you know, casual um, race fan, this is definitely the game for you. Um, I can't really say how much unlockables are there, um, just because, um, just from the, the glance, it doesn't seem like there's that much as far as racing um, cars to unlock, but... Overall, it's a fun game, it's a beautiful game, um, it makes a good use of the accelerometer, and it's a great game to pick up in your spare time and to uh, have fun with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, please, let me know that you liked it by liking it, and of course, if you didn't think it was useful, let me know why. Um, and, I, and I'll try to improve my videos as I go along. As always, this is a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.